Global tourism is bouncing back, breaking pre-pandemic levels. But what does it all mean for an industry in the sustainability spotlight? We're here at the World Travel Market trade event in London to find out. From India to Iceland, Thailand to Turkey, this year's WTM is the biggest ever with 4,000 exhibitors. The global gathering coming as new data reveals a huge rebound in travel since the pandemic. One and a half billion global arrivals are expected for this year. By the end of the decade, we expect that to get up to two billion arrivals worldwide. People are absolutely prioritizing travel over other forms of uh, spending. Experiences are being prioritized over things. But where does this leave efforts to tackle overcrowding? In some European destinations, there have been anti-tourism protests amid community concerns over things like environmental damage and rising rental prices. In Croatia, a law is now being brought in to reduce short-term holiday rentals in residential areas. Travellers are increasingly wanting to help regenerate places when they visit, giving something back. And the sustainability conversation in the industry is evolving from net zero to net positive. Any one of us, when we travel, we want to experience something new which is regenerative for the soul. But also when you perceive the situation from the side of managing the tourist industry, uh, we also need to make sure that uh, the environment and the tourist product regenerates itself. The sustainability of tourism is extremely important for us especially. Japan is among many countries now actively promoting regenerative activities and experiences. For example, City Aso in Kyushu Island, they are offering visitors to take part in their conservation activities, like creating fire bricks. And after these activities, visitors will be invited to connect with local farmers. Uzbekistan is an emerging destination offering stunning architecture and rich history. And as the country looks to attract more travelers, it too is putting a focus on communities. There are very much underdeveloped areas. By us opening those destinations, we're very much helping the local communities. We're opening their eyes on opportunities. We're helping them starting small businesses. We are doing a lot of local experiences using people's houses you know, to host people for lunches, for dinner. And this is, for me, all, you know, falls within what we call the sustainable business. Tokyo has long drawn visitors, magnetized by all the buzzing city has to offer. But as the industry looks to manage tourism flows and satisfy a growing demand for unique experiences, it's also promoting hidden gems beyond the traditional attractions. We recommend uh, beautiful mountainous areas in the uh, western part of Tokyo uh, where you can enjoy uh, hiking, grumping and so on. And also we have 11 uh, inhabited islands in Tokyo uh, where you can see uh, beautiful sandy beaches, volcanic landscapes and it's totally different from your typical image of Tokyo. Movie and TV tourism, or set jetting as it's become known, is taking travellers off the beaten track too, in countries like Thailand, where the trend is growing. Nowadays we got many movie, big movie come to Thailand, such as the White Lotus season 3. We create the follow the movie trail route, so they can go to the location shooting and acting like uh, the movie star. Of course, we promote facility around there, also the new destination around there. Global tourism is back, but now the industry is under pressure to prove that it can be a force for good.